Beef DVMs here coming at ya. Um, at the home place here. Looking out at the end of the driveway and as you can see we've got a gravel driveway. Not very long but long enough that we occasionally got to haul some gravel on it and of course we've got a tree line there with trees out out there and you know you got to haul water to them and you know keep them alive until they uh, they get big enough. And uh, some people have asked you know what, what do we uh, what do we use to haul the water and the rocks and the dirt and everything for the gardens around Worth? And you know, uh, the answer to that is pretty simple. Uh, we've been using a, a 10P cart from John Deere. These are the poly carts. Uh, we've had this one now for about, oh, I guess, say six years now, I think it's going on. This has been a great little cart. Um, again, this is the 10P. Um, it has the tip on it here. You can pull the lever and uh, it'll tip which is a nice feature. I've got it uh, about as clean as it ever is right now. Um, we took out the original pin on it and added a pin with a handle. So the cotter key does never get lost, which is good. Again, this is a, a tip model 10P. It does great. Um, doesn't really matter what you put in it, it takes a beating. It's dumpable, uh, which is nice. It's got uh, you know little tires on it. Uh, which uh, hold up great, uh, and they obviously take um, you know compressed air real nicely. It's been a good, strong little cart for us. It's got these little holes where you can put uh, uh, pieces of wood in and make railings if you wanted to make it higher. But uh, you know we need something a little bigger, so uh, we invested, moved up, so to speak. Now we're going to have two, uh, one for um, each of the tractors, and this time we went with the larger size. I just finished um, getting it all set up here. This is the 17P. Um, again, both of these were actually bought through our uh, Minnesota Equipment Solutions dealer, which is our uh, John Deere dealer. And these guys, uh, they do a good job of getting us supplied, that's for sure. Um, this cart um, is, uh, again, the 17, 17P. Uh, much larger cart in comparison to the other one over there. If you kind of stand, it's about another foot wider than the other one. And of course, lengthwise, it's about another foot longer too and it's got a little deeper front end to it. You can see the other one is flat with a little slant. This one inside is flat too but uh, they got a little well there for each of the tires but it's longer. Um, again it's got the same holes if you wanted to add a, uh, a wood rack to it and again it's it's tippable. It's got the same uh, tip lever that the other one has on it so we can tip it and you can see the underside. It's very easy to tip. I've put a lot of weight in these things, folks. I know I've overloaded them several times. These things really do take it. This one actually has the, the factory uh, pin in it um, that it comes with. I can pull that out and show you. This is the pin it comes with. Again, I'll put a different pin in here later, so not an issue there. But again, this is the, the bigger cart that they make, the 17P. Um, that other cart holds six five-gallon pails um, in it, uh, full of water or dirt. Um, this one holds, um, depending upon how you put them in, about nine to ten, uh, and it does great. I love these carts. Forgot to mention, both carts too also have the divider walls in them, so you can put the dividers on each side if you'd like. Again, this is the uh, larger size, the 17P, um, added to the farm here just recently. Thanks to our John Deere dealer. And uh, this is our other cart, our 10P, um, which we've had for about six years now, which we're gonna keep and maintain, but uh, we're gonna have it on a different tractor. So uh, I'm sure this will probably be the cleanest you ever see the 17P if you ever stop out on the farm. Um, these are nice, nice carts. I totally love them. Uh, again, they don't, uh, they don't uh, ever seem to wear out for us, which is a good thing, so we're real pleased. Thanks for watching folks, please subscribe to our channel and we'll keep putting out videos like this. Um, click the like button to tell us you like these videos and we'll keep making more John Deere videos like this. Thank you.